Alright guys, so this is my 17 inch Intel iMac. Today we're going to be installing this one terabyte hard drive over here. So right now, hard drive that I got out from one of my MacBooks, USB hard drive controller, plugged into the back using USB, and for power, this was the power supply for it, but it stopped working. So I just had to hook it up from the inside of this computer using the adapter from this old Dell, which is fine, I just need it for power. So let's just turn this on. This screwdriver kit. We have the original hard drive mounting bracket, the hard drive mounting screws, the uh, RAM cover, obviously one terabyte hard drive and uh, I'm going to install either Snow Leopard or Lion. We have a copy of iLife 06, iLife 11, iWork 09, and a compressed air. It's always good to have. Also I just forgot to mention, uh, it even came with an Apple remote. I just need to get a battery for it. No big deal. Hopefully the remote works. Here's the side of the iMac with the super drive. Here's the back of it. The first thing I've done is I've removed the memory modules. They're both one gigabyte each. And right now we've placed the iMac on its front side. So the first screws that'll have to be coming out will be this screw. This one right here. This third one. And finally the fourth one right here. Alright, now that we've taken out those four screws, what we have to do is uh, simply lift our iMac back onto its uh, back, and then we're going to have to find a way to pop this front bezel out, but I can't do it with just one hand, so you going to have to pause the video for a second, and uh, I'll come back later. Alright, so we have this part of it open. Alright, so with this little card I stuck in here, I was able to get a good chunk of the display bezel out of its area. Alright, so I've taken off the front bezel of the iMac. This is what it looks like on the inside. These are the little clips that you have to use with a uh, card to get it off. Here's the eyesight camera and microphone circuit board. And there's the piece of tape that just had the cables holding together. We'll just move that off to the side. Just put it right over there. Here's the first look at the iMac. Alright, so we have the, the shield right here lift up, holding in by this piece of tape right here. And uh, you can see that the fan has lots of dust in there. And so, obviously it would help to uh, clear a lot of this stuff out. Alright, so the next step is to remove this screw right here and this screw right here. And after we have those screws removed, you just simply pull up. Next step is to pull this uh, little inverter cable up and ab away from you. You want to remove this screw in here. This screw in between this hole right here, there's a screw right there, and a screw hiding right there, and I've already taken out the first two. They look like this. I believe this is a T10, yeah, T10. Torque screwdriver. Alright, so <clears throat> we got the uh, display off of the uh, iMac, and uh, I have put it in the uh, protective packaging. Alright guys, so now I have the hard drive bracket installed. It just goes into the iMac like this, so uh, let's get to that.
So the hard drive is finally installed properly and uh, we're just going to install all of the pieces back together. Alright guys, so we have the LCD back in place, the uh, shield right here back in place, and uh, we're just going to uh, put the front bezel on. So the iMac has been put together, and I just have to install the memory chips, and we should be good to go. So the computer is reading the hard drive as a one terabyte drive, and we just have to initialize the drive. All the software updates have been completed and we are updated to Mac OS X version 10.7.5. We can currently see all the apps that have been installed. So this was the Western Digital 1TB hard drive installation video. Thank you for watching.